Today we are going to continue to talk about, a little bit ironic, what we have been talking about for several, several weeks. We're going to talk about love. Now, now we all know what it means, and we all know the typical Bible verses. But we've just been simply going through the Bible. So the Bible is, of course, our textbook. It, it's our law, it's our contract, it's the thing that we live by. So in order to find truth, we, we do not look at the university, uh, we don't look at the television, we don't look at the newspapers. For, for us as Christians to find truth, we look at the Bible. Love builds great shame. So let us pray. What is love? love? Love is, of course, as we know many things, it's a feeling. It's an excitement. It, it's a, a being nice, courteous, kind, gentle. Peace. It is indeed probably all the things or some of the things that the people on the streets are saying. Honk for peace. We're for peace. Honk for unity. We're for unity. But, but you cannot separate love and, and truth. So the, the, they, 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 must, they must go together. You, 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 cannot, you cannot say you love someone. You cannot say that you love mankind, you love the neighborhood, you love the Muslims or the Christians. You cannot say, I love those people. And you as a born-again person believe with all your heart that unless they get saved, they will go to hell. How, how, how do you actually love them if you do not say anything? I mean, how, 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 how is that love? Well, what, what that is is selfish. Let us consider. This is what we did. As we put the sign up, we made the decision last Sunday. We talked about it for a while, and, 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 and we feel something must happen. We must, we must, we must, we must shake this, this religious, dead, intellectual city. It must be shaken. So something must happen. Well, we, are in a, we are in a university town, university people are supposed to be thinkers. So how come we don't think? I mean, how come we don't think about our, our eternity? Well, what's going to happen to us? What's going to happen to our kids? Well, why, why do we don't think? Why do we only think as far as education, job, money, career, fine? We have to think. Is this, is this, is this really all there is? Is, is, this really, is this really why I am alive? Let us consider, so we thought about it, how to stimulate. I believe the sign has stimulated. <laughs> but I, I, we, we had to think about it. We're not to live in some kind of religious stupor where we go through our rituals, where we, can, we can't wait for the preacher to quit, but we can go to the restaurant. It's how to con consider how to stimulate one another to love and good deeds. Usually popularity is a bad sign and not a good sign. You usually, if everybody likes you, you must be doing something wrong. Look at Jesus. He is our example. He was perfect. Never, never did anything wrong. Never, never sinned. When he died, I think all he had left was a couple of women. There at the crucifixion, hanging around by the grave. To be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom, which he promised again to those who love him. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Jesus. One of the interviews are yesterday. They asked me basically, what's your problem? Uh, lots of religions believe in multiple gods. The very few religions believe in only one God. So, so, so what's so wrong with Islam? They believe in one God. They believe, they believe in only one God, Allah. They only one. 
God's not the problem. The, the, problem here, the problem here is not God. The Bible says the devil believes in God and trembles. The problem's not God. The problem's Jesus. See, that, that's the problem. That's the separation. That's the difference. The problem is Jesus. But Jesus said himself, there's only, only one way. That's the problem. If you believe there is another way to heaven, to God, to salvation, to forgiveness, other than Jesus Christ, you're not a Christian. And if you're a pastor and you believe that, you need to get another job. You need, you need to choose another profession. You're in, you're in the wrong business. The Bible says that greater love has no man than what? And he laid down his life for his brethren. That sign is indeed, to a certain extent, an act of laying down our life because it could be dangerous. It will definitely, with some people, win us no brownie points. It is not a way to get people to love you. It is a way to make a point. It is a way to make a stand. It is a way to say a message. There's one way, one way only. We can talk all we want, we can be as nice as we want to, but the one way stays the one way. Honor all people. We're trying. Honor. What does honor mean? I looked it up in the dictionary. Honor, of course, means many things, but one of those things that it means is honesty. If nothing else, with that sign, we are trying to be honest. It is indeed a very direct way to be honest. It is indeed a very shocking way to be honest. But we're trying to be honest. And say there's, there's one way. One way to heaven. There's one way to hell. So there's, there's one way. Choose that way. Love the brethren. Honor all people. I mean, how, how will the Bible says itself? How will people get saved unless they hear the message? How can they hear the message unless there's a preacher? There, there is a preacher that belongs to the fivefold ministry, to the called chosen of God. But there's also a preacher that's in you. How are they going to hear? How are the Muslims going to hear? How are the Jews going to hear? How are the Buddhists going to hear? How's your neighbor going to hear? How are they going to hear? Unless we preach the gospel to them. Yeah. 